All right, so today we're gonna to go over the magnification equation, which is an essential concept for your exam. In this video, we're going to explore how the magnification equation helps determine the size and orientation of images formed by lenses and mirrors. Understanding this principle is crucial for various applications in both optics and medicine. So let's dive in. The magnification equation describes the relationship between the object and image sizes, as well as their distances from the lens or mirror. It is given by M is equal to HI over HO, which is equal to negative DI over DO. Here, M is the magnification, HI is the image height, HO is the object height, DI is the image distance, and DO is the object distance. The negative sign in the equation indicates that real images formed by lenses or mirrors are inverted. And magnification tells us two key things about the image. The first is the size. If the absolute value of M is greater than 1, the image is larger than the object. If the absolute value of M is less than 1, the image is smaller than the object. The second thing it tells us is the orientation. If M is positive, the image is upright. If M is negative, the image is inverted. For example, if the magnification is M equal to negative 2, the image is twice the height of the object and inverted. If M is equal to 0.5, the image is half the height of the object and upright. Let's apply the magnification equation to an example. Suppose an object is placed 10 centimeters in front of a convex lens, and the image is formed 20 centimeters behind the lens. The object height is 5 centimeters. What is the image height and the magnification? So the magnification is negative 2 indicating the image is twice the size of the object and inverted. Understanding the magnification equation is crucial for your exam because it tests your knowledge of optics and image formation. Key things to remember include how to use the magnification equation to find the size and orientation of images, the significance of positive and negative magnification values, and applying these concepts to various scenarios to solve optics problems. Now, let's challenge your understanding with a couple of practice questions. Question one. An object is placed 15 centimeters in front of a concave mirror, and the image is formed 30 centimeters in front of the mirror. If the object height is 4 centimeters, what is the image height? A, 2 centimeters, B, 4 centimeters, C, 6 centimeters, or D, 8 centimeters. Pause for a moment. All right, so to solve this, we use the magnification equation. M is equal to negative DI over DO. We are given 15 centimeters for DO, and di is 30 centimeters. So what we take is m is equal to negative 30 over 15, which gives us negative two. Now we can calculate the image height with hi is equal to m times ho. So we have hi is equal to negative two times four centimeters, which gives us hi is equal to negative eight centimeters. And therefore d is the correct answer. Now we'll do another question. An object three centimeters high is placed 12 centimeters in front of a convex lens, forming an upright image six centimeters high. What is the image distance? A, 12 centimeters, B, 18 centimeters, C, 24 centimeters, or D, 36 centimeters? Take a moment and pause to answer the question. So using the magnification equation, we are given M is equal to HI over HO. We are given HO is three centimeters and HI is six centimeters. So we'll get M is equal to six over three, which gives us two. So now we're gonna solve for the image distance. So M is equal to negative DI over DO. So we then get half two is equal to negative DI over 12. Solving for DI, we get negative 24 centimeters, which gives us C as the correct answer. To excel on your exam, it's crucial to master the following key points. One, using the magnification equation, which is M is equal to HI over HO, which is equal to negative DI over DO. And understanding that positive magnification indicates upright images, while negative magnification indicates inverted images. So in summary, understanding the magnification equation is essential for mastering optics concepts. By grasping these principles, you'll be well prepared for the exam and future studies. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're watching this video in the app, please make sure to like the video there and recommend to your friends. Your support helps us continue to create these informative videos to aid in your study journey. Good luck studying.